Okay, so first I'm gonna start with primer. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer just in my T-zone. Um, and then all over my face, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. Um, it's really glowy, so I like more of a dewy skin look. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Pump a couple pumps on the back of my hand and just go in with a beauty blender. It really conceals a lot of redness because it's more of a medium to full wear coverage foundation so it doesn't take too much. And it still gives a natural radiance to the face. For concealer, I am going to do the Hour of Glass Vanish Concealer. And I put this under my eyes, around my nose, on the bridge of my nose, a little in the middle of the forehead and the chin just to brighten those areas up. I like to use about a shade or two lighter than my actual um, foundation shade. This is in the shade Birch. And then I'm going with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, this is my favorite way to blend out my concealer. Concealer sponge. Later, so I'm just using a little. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish face powder yeah. <laughs> today. <laughs> this is in the lightest shade. And then I'm just taking, um, this is my favorite face brush, like of all time, the Morphe M554. And then I'm just gonna press this under my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna start <laughs> contouring now. I am gonna use the um, Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. Um, this is in the shade Amber. It's their lighter contouring shade because I'm really fair, so I don't want it to be too intense. And I just go right along the cheekbones and just the normal contouring places along the forehead. I like to put a little under my lip because it makes my lips look a little bigger, you know. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with a Real Techniques face brush. And I like to stroke upward and go more towards my cheekbones because I feel like it lifts um, my cheekbones a little, makes them look a little more defined. Okay, I am now gonna go in um, with some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Glam Bronze in Mastermind. It's again, like the more lighter shade. It's kind of a coolish brown. Smaller um, ankle brush, face ankle contour brush. And go right over where I did my contouring and bring it up a little higher as well onto my cheeks. Go around my jawline. And then I'm going in with a smaller, this is more actually an eyeshadow brush from Morphe. It doesn't have a number on it, but I've been using this for my nose contour. And I use a very light hand for this. And then I like to go over my nose. And now I'm gonna do some baking. Um, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder to bake. I'm going to go down the sides of my nose. Okay, so I set my under eyes and now I am going to go under my contour line. I do a pretty light bake under here because I don't like the line too sharp. I'll pat 
a little it touch dust powder on my forehead when there's very little product on so the forehead doesn't look cakey but so it still sets. And then I'm gonna do my brows um, while my face is baking. And I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Ways and I just make uh, here like strokes at the front. I use a very light hand because I like the more natural fluffy brow look. Very natural looking brows and then I set them with the NYX Control Freak Clear Brow Gel. I actually like this more than the Anastasia Clear Flat Brow Gel and it's much cheaper. Um, I'm going to keep my bake on but I'm going to go into my eyes. Um, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Original Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette and I'm going to go in um, with a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M535. And I'm going in with this third shade here. It's kind of like a, a warm light brown. And I'm just going to blend that all over in the crease. Not hitting the lid exactly, but kind of flicking out for a soft look. And I'm gonna build on this, but I like to start really light first because you can add more product, but you can't take product away. Well, you can, but it's not as easy. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my, I'm holding my brush very light and like towards the end, so it has a lighter touch and there's not as much pressure on my eye. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade right below it. It's a darker brown. And I'm going to keep this more on the outer corner of my eye. And it is going on the lid and in the crease. And then when there's almost no more product left on the brush, I'll bring it inwards to put a light wash on the inner crease. So next, I'm going to take a flatter, more defined eyeshadow brush. Let's take this uh, darker chocolate shade here. And then I am going to kind of pat this on the outer part of my lid. And bring it out to give that cat look and kind of elevate my eye a bit if you bring it up and out, it's gonna lift your eyes more so they don't look so closed in. And then I'm going to take that original fluffier brush that we were using and just go over this and kind of buff it out to give it a softer look because I'm going for more of a softer smoky look. Okay, um, I am going to go in with an angled eyeshadow brush and get this dark brown shade and I'm going to make a wing with eyeshadow. Um, I've been doing this a lot lately as opposed to liquid eyeliner so I feel like it's, it gives like a softer, more blown out look. True. So I just flick that out to the desired length and I'm gonna clean it up in a little bit. And then I'll connect it to the top and kind of go halfway on my lash line. I'm not going all the way into the inner corner. And if this doesn't have to be neat. I kind of like it a little messier on the lash line because then it blends into the shadow that we have going on already. And then I'm gonna keep building it till it's a little darker. And then I'm going to show you how I clean it up. I go in with that same pressed powder that I used before and I take a clean angled brush and I just 
swipe underneath it and it gives it a sharper, it makes the wing a bit sharper because it cleans up that powder. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, I'm gonna go and wipe off my fake. I'm just using a little bullet brush there to get under my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the lower lash line and I am going to take um, that flatter fluffy brush that we were using and go in with the second color that we used, the, um, not the darkest, but the brown shade. <laughs> And I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a smaller bullet eyeshadow brush and go in with um, this darker shade. I think it was the third brown shade that we used. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer portion of my lash line. Now, something I like to do before I start my highlight and anything else is I go in with a, I've, I've been liking this Pacifica Coconut Hydro Mist, and I'll just take that on my beauty blender that I already have and kind of spritz it and just uh, give a pat on my face just to, um, it, it having your face a little damp before you put highlighter on really makes the highlighter pop. And also with all the powders that I've used, I just want to bring a little more hydration to my face because I still want to be more glowy than anything. Oh, I love that. Pacifica makes such good products. I hate using such like fragrance stuff on my face, but like when it's makeup, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> like if it's not skin, <laughs> get that. Um, now I'm gonna put some blush on. I'm gonna use the Milani Luminoso blush. I only recently started using blush. I used to have a thing against blush, but I've actually been kind of liking it lately. And I just put it on the apples of my cheeks. I use a very light hand because I still don't like super rosy cheeks, but just like a, a little blush color to the face. I put a little on the bridge of my nose. Bring it back just a little, not too much, very subtle. Um, I like this one too because it has like a mineralized finish so it's a little glowy as well. And then I'm going to go in with highlighter and I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, uh, quad highlighters and I'm going to go in with the shade Iced. Put that on the high points of my cheeks. is basically done and then I'll finish off the eyes. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Nice tiny mist. It's I like it because it's not one of those like right. right. that can like yeah. like spray you in the face and get dots on mm -hmm. you. Like you know if it like runs out or something. Yeah. So it gets a very even mist. Um, and now I'm gonna finish off my eyes. So I am going to uh, line my waterline with the Maybelline um, Gel Liner. I just go right in my waterline. I'm going to go into that same dark brown shade that I used to do the wing and kind of buff my lower lash line very tight on my lower lash line. And it helps blend out that um, gel liner as well. And notice I haven't put anything kind of like in the inner corners of either um, upper or bottom lashes, just because I want to keep it more uh, blown out and my eyes elevated. And now I'm going to go into the second Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. <laughs> Obviously I'm obsessed with these. And get a, a flat eyeshadow brush and go into this first shade called Certified. It's just like a stark white shade. And I'm gonna put this just in the inner corner of the inner part of my lid, like at the front. And it kind of, it brightens up the inner corners of your eyes and makes your eyes look bigger. I'll also bring it into the um, inner corner of my eye, like the, the tear duct area to 
brighten that up also. I am going to do a quick curl of my lashes. And then I'm gonna throw some mascara on. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Okay, I now have mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And I'm gonna throw on some fake lashes. I'm using the um, House of Lashes um, Iconic Light style lashes. Okay, last step is going to be lips. And I am doing more of a nude look today. I'm gonna to use this NYX um, lip liner in Nude Beige. And I kind of overline my lips. Sorry, I can't. And now I'm going to go in with the Morphe lipstick and it's the Mega Matte lipstick in the shade Boy Toy. There is my everyday smoky makeup look. Hey. 